Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna learn how to drive an automatic car. As you know, in 2021, this is the time where people are shifting from manual to automatic. Even if they are, um, people buy the cars worth, you know, two, three lakh, five lakh, they are also going for automatic. It's not the days when only luxury cars were automatic and you could not imagine automatic cars in the smaller segments like hatchbacks or normal mid-size sedans or a compact SUVs for examples. So um, in these days it's very normal and if we see the last couple of months chart then the sales volume in India itself 47% of the car uh, India has sold automatic versions and 53% is manual. So you can see how uh, far we have gone um, in this kind of terms and uh, as you know the po population is increasing in the country and the traffic between the office timings in the morning times and in the evening times are increasing so much that people just want to relax now they just don't want to you know uh, shift gears all the time put the brake on uh, clutches on and stuff like that so they are now people are converting to automatic to have a much more relaxed life these days so let's learn how to drive an automatic car stand still position now the first thing first is you have to always use only one foot look at this I'm only using one foot right now which is my right one and the left one I'm resting it here this is the pad over here which is to rest your leg the left foot with the right foot you will jumble the right foot from this is the brake the bigger one what you see here is the brake and this is um, gas or accelerator, whatever you call it. You put the gas or accelerator to go ahead and put the brake to stop your vehicle. It's very simple. There is nothing you have to do much to, you know, go forward and brake your car. All right, let's move to the gear transmission. If we talk about gear transmission, you will see that you have P, you have R, N, D, and S. P is for the parking. R for is for the reverse gear. Neutral, neutral whenever you're standing still at a signal, traffic signal or anywhere you're waiting for someone, you can put this car in the neutral over here and you can, you know, pull the handbrake to stand still at the car. Whenever you're parking the car and put it in the P, put the handbrake or, or on, always make sure that even if it's in P, Let's be double safe and put the handbrakes on. All right. So five things you have here, which is you don't need to know the S for the beginners. This is only for the sports mode, which you want to have a better RPM level. When uh, you just have to care about the D, N, R, and P. P is for parking, as you already know now. The R is for the reverse. N for the neutral when you're standing still. You're parking, you P, you P when you are standing still at one position for a temporary time, you um, go for N and D is the drive mode. Whenever you want to drive the car, you go into drive mode. Make sure guys, uh, when you put in the drive mode, it will, the car will automatically start moving ahead. So you have to make sure that you are pressing that brake. Your foot has to be on the brake all the time when you're shifting gears in the automatic not in the manual so um, in the automatic you have to make sure whenever you're changing the gears you have to put the brake because only two things you will do either you will go to the park neutral r or n even if you go for the reverse the car will automatically move backwards so you have to make sure that you are always your foot the right foot has to be on the brake at any cost all right let's begin if I want to drive the car now, I have a foot resting over here, the left one, and the right one I have put on the brakes. So I'll push it a little just to brake myself. Pull down the parking brake, release it. 
many other many different car have different kind of buttons here i have this small button over here which i'm going to push and then i'll put it to d drive mode once i do that i still have my brake uh, pedal i have my leg on the brake pedal i would not move that once i start moving it as soon as i remove it and not press the accelerator or the gas this car will start moving you see the speed is increasing and i'm started moving or towards the road so uh, this will stay just like that because the race power has been increased in the automatic cars so it will move ahead as soon as you i'm not pushing the accelerator nor the brake but still my car you see is moving at seven speed so uh, that's something you have to make sure that you don't make any accidents or something uh, moving from manual to automatic this is the thing you will think that you know i've already drove manual why would i have to learn automatic but these are the small small things you need to take care of when you're driving for the first time automatic car and this will actually help you with the first time if you're driving this kind of car so seven speed is the maximum what this will go without me putting in the gas or accelerator so once i press a little bit it will start moving and i'm on the go i'm on the go now i don't have to do anything I'm just, I just have to maintain my brakings and the accelerator. Nothing else I have to do here, right? So it will start moving. It will change the gear itself, and it will shift down, shift up the gear itself. There is nothing you have to do now. It's simple, very simple. Only brake and the accelerator. What you have to deal with in this automatic cars, and it will move automatically. We just have to. You know, concentrate on your driving and balancing the car. That's all you have to do, and this will always stay on D, unless and until you have to brake the car or you have to put it in the parking mode. So there are the only two things which you will do here: drive or not drive. <laughs> Nothing else. So it's very simple. Now, as we have, I have shown you how to drive in a drive mode when you're going forward. The same thing you have to follow in the river.